Hello everyone, my name is Anand Kumar Jha and you are watching Code with Anand. So in the last video we talked about data adapter extract, uh, how to create the data adapter extract and fetch the data from the Salesforce object. So in this video we are going to uh, talk about uh, and uh, we are going to see like how to create the data adapter post extension which is also known as data adapter load. So data adapter load is uh, used to update the Salesforce object. So data adapter load uh, basically accept the data in the form of JSON, XML or custom input and uh, it posts the same input to the Salesforce object. In the same way we, uh, formula and the other attributes are also supported here. Let's suppose uh, when a user is running a case handling omni script finishes entering the data and once we click save the script calls the data adapter load and save the record which is entered there so data adapter load can obtain input uh, in multiple ways uh, using the omni script json which we will talk once we will reach to the omni script lecture and uh, through the integration procedure uh, during the executions of journey omni script or ip uh, whatever uh, json we will get the same JSON we will provide to the data adapter load as a input and it will update to the uh, that object. In the same way interface object we can create a custom object and populate data with the data adapter using the uh, Salesforce bulk loader or other loader tools to insert the data. So let's uh, go to the data adapter Salesforce interface and uh, let's build the data adapter load together so last time we build uh, dr extract the same way we need to go to the data adapter and once you reach to the omni studio console and then uh, you can see the new button here so you need to just click and new this is always everything is almost same and uh, you need to uh, give the name so we are going to save as a poc data or we can use uh, account to update the value some value on account object so we are going to use update account details so in the interface tab you have to use as a transform uh, load transform is used to change the format and uh, you need to select the input we are going to use the json and the output type as a s object like salesforce object and uh, give your description according to you whatever uh, you need you can give the input so once it create then you have to select the object type on which object you are going to update the data adapter so you need to do some mapping for objects so we are going to update on the account details so we have to uh, add object as a account we are going to update on the account object so we are going to select the account object in the same way if you need uh, uh, any formula you need to write any query you can use a uh, formula here and for list merge multiple things you can use multiple formula we will talk about that later under the field section uh, you need to map the way you are going to provide the data and on which field you are going to object so let's suppose we have this account uh, acme so under this acme we are going we have the name phone website and uh, type so account number so we are going to uh, update basically some uh, fields on the account object using that uh, dr so we are going to create uh, json so let's suppose uh, you have some json uh, which is like an input for the dr so let's suppose uh, we are going to we first we need to give the node so on which node we are going to update we are going to update on account so the json you have to create this way or you can get through the input in the omni script once you run the journey account and then you have to this way and then uh, which fields you need to update so i am going to update name name as a um, uh, code with anand here we can use code with anand the same day uh, we have to use for phone so we can use a phone on and i can uh, you need to check the api name you need to give the exact api name what is present here so for the api name you can just click here and go to the setup and from the setup you can go to the object manager 
and then under the object manager you just need to select the account object so we have the account object here under the account object you need to click on field and relationship and once you reach to the field and relationship you can search which field you want to update so you can see the api name for account name is name and uh, for account number you can just copy from here and uh, make your json or you can get json through the omniscript or ip so i am going to use the phone number and phone number i'll update uh, let me give uh, one two three four five six seven eight and uh, you can give validation on the phone number as well through the validations rules and uh, let's uh, update the phone as well uh, let's update the email so if you are going to update the email you need to just copy the api name and uh, under the json we are going to give the name as a email uh, api name and email as a um, anand at the rate xyz anand xyz at the rate gmail.com so you can give the email so these fields we are going to update basically uh, just a small number of fields I just want to show you as a demo how we can use that so under that you can see here we have the node then API name if you don't want to give the node you can directly go with the name so I can show you through the node and the without node so it's easy for you to understand so once we are here in the data adapter under our data adapter you can see under the POC update account we have to first give the input json path how we are getting the input so we are getting input through the first account details and then we are getting the name so you need to give the input path this way and uh, copy this one and paste under the input json path name and under the output json path you need to select the api name which you are going to update and uh, the most important thing don't forget the id on which id you are going to update so for we need to select here id as well so id and then we uh, we can pass the id through the input so you can use as a id and we are going to use the SCME account id so first let's update the other thing then we will give the id so the same way you can update the account number so you just need to copy here paste it here and copy the details here and paste it here so account number then we are going to search as a account number so the same way you can use the email field as well so copy this one paste it here copy the whole node input node how we are going to pass and then uh, again map with the email so under the email you need to select the email as well mapping now the more important thing how we are going to update the id so to for the id you just need to copy this one and uh, copy this one here and the same way you can pass here as id and you can select uh, id from the output json path you have to select and then here you need to click on the required absurd and is required for absurd these two you need to select so that it will not create a new account it will update the details on the id which we are going to provide though and under the input json path you just need to copy this whole input which we build right now input json so copy this one and uh, just paste it here so we have the input and then uh, we are going to copy the id of the account from here and we are paste going to paste it here so and just after pasting just keep the com comma and execute so once you click on execute it will update the account so you can see here we are getting the account id so as soon as you click on this one let me it will open the account and uh, now you can see here we have the account details uh, code with anand with the same id if you copy the icon check the id which is same and it's just updated the name of the account 
email of the account uh, if you see uh, let me show you under the details what the email of the account is getting updated so where is the email section I think we need uh, we can do one more thing to check the email is getting updated or not through the back end so let me uh, you can do this way as well you can go to the salesforce classic and under the classic you just need to copy the id and you can paste it here after this one and let's search so under the classic details under the back um, in the back end we can see the details which we are updating so first you can see the account number is getting updated which we gave as a 1 2 3 4 5 6 8 9 as input and name is also updated and uh, um, apart from this name uh, we can see the maybe the field is not present here so you need to edit the page layout and give the fields here to show the name of the uh, details of the email so you can do this way you can click on edit page layout through this way we can uh, edit and uh, you you can add the things on the here so we need to add the email details as well so you can search from here so let's search for email section where is the email present so you can see email is here you can just drag and draw and drag and uh, put it here so under email and uh, just click on uh, quick save or you can do uh, this way you can save it and uh, as soon as we save it let's go and check the email so you can see the email is also updated on the xyz at the date gmail.com so this is the like uh, kind of how to create the data after load action and uh, how we can update through the uh, fields on the salesforce object through the dr so this way you can use the to update the dr and if you don't want uh, like let's suppose you don't have the node name like you can node is not present just you have the data like uh, uh, instead of node you just have the data like this so you can do one thing you can just remove the node and you can just give the name as a input json and output json as a api of that fields which you are going to update and it will work same so that's all for this video like uh, how to create the data in the next video we are going to uh, talk about uh, how to create the data raptor transform once uh, we will talk about all these four kinds of introduction of the data raptor then we will move ahead with the advanced option and uh, on the ip as well so yeah thank you and if you like this video please uh, like and share with your friends and subscribe the channel thank you everyone thank you